It sounds like maybe something that would be ploughed in a field. Not like a person, like, you know, like the crops. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with that. Welcome to our British localisms and slang challenge. I'm going to challenge Lucy to give me the correct definition of 10 words which originate throughout the UK. Why don't you guys play along too and see how many you get right? I wonder if you'll do better than Lucy. Probably. <laughs> This suggestion comes from one of our lovely supporters, Eric, known as Wensir One. His in-laws come from the West Country and use the word dimpsy. So, without further ado, let's start with the word dimpsy. Oh, I believe there was a time when I knew what this meant <laughs> when I visited Cornwall. Um, I'm going to guess, is it like a bit silly or goofy? No, not really. I will give you a clue. I enjoy a pint. I'm not going to do the accent. I just, okay. I just thought I'd say. I really enjoy a pint of cider at Dimpsey. It's the best time for me. Um, is it noon? No, it's a bit later than noon. Uh, <laughs> dusk. Yes, you're very close. Dimpsey is actually the time in the evening just before dusk. Oh, okay. That's very specific. It is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, because you floundered a bit with that, Lucy, um, <laughs> the next word comes from Norfolk, and I know you're going to know it. Bishy Barney Bee. Oh, that's a ladybird. It is indeed. It's a ladybird. Bishy Barney Bee. Isn't that cute? It's cute, yeah. I think we should all call them Bishy Barney Bees. Now that's probably the only one you're going to get correct, <laughs> so I thought I'd give that to you early on. Thanks, you make me look better than I am. So the next one comes from Essex, and it's much more up to date. Getting Gary. Is it... Uh, I don't know! <laughs> Is it um, having sex? Having what, Lucy? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Having relations of a... <laughs> Sexual nature? No, it's not. Wash your mouth. <laughs> I don't know what else it can be. Okay, I'm going to give you a clue by putting it in a sentence. What are you getting Gary for? Oh, angry. Well, not quite angry, but it is. You could be angry when you do this. It's getting into an argument with something that doesn't concern you. Oh, you probably are getting yeah. angry then. You're getting angry, but you shouldn't really get involved because it's nothing to do with you. Yeah, wind your neck in. Exactly. Okay, so one correct so far. <laughs> so the next one comes from Pembrokeshire, Wales. Caps Wabble. C-A-P-S-W-A-B-B-L-E. I'm glad you spelt it because that's made it so much clearer. <laughs> I, I, is it a bit like codswallop? It sounds like it might have evolved from codswallop. You have got it. Yes, oh. it is like codswallop. So it means a load of nonsense, a load of lies. I thought for our American viewers and such that we ought to explain codswallop. codswallop yeah. <laughs> the next one is from Derbyshire and it's mizzle, mizzle. Hmm. Is it booze? It's not booze. You said that in a very Norfolk way. Yes. Booze. I don't know. Can I have it in a sentence? Okay, the sentence is, it's not too bad, just a bit of mizzle. Oh, like a bit of drizzle. It's even smaller than drizzle, mizzle oh, is. That's annoying, even. that type of rain. Okay, next we go up to Scotland, to Glasgow, and the word is stota. Stota. Oh gosh, I really don't know. Is it like a minger? <laughs> no, it's not a minger. Not at all. It sounds like it could be though, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Yeah, like, oh, he's a real stota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, indeed not. Would you like me to give you a clue? Yes, please. Okay, I could say, Willie is a real stota. Or, that haggis is a real stota. And I'm saying it positively. <laughs> it's really yummy. <laughs> well, it's not really yummy, but um, it's excellent. It's very good. It could be something or someone. It could refer to stota. We venture off the mainland now. We go to the Isle of Wight, and this one is Malishag. Malishag. It sounds like maybe something that would be ploughed in a field. 
Not like a person, like, you know, like the crops. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> like, you know, like it, it sounds, sounds like, oh, the valley shag's really plentiful this year. Oh, right. Yeah, not quite. Shall I give you a clue? Yeah. Oh, no. That mallow shag's eating all my cabbages. A bunny? Not, no smaller than a bunny. A gerbil? Why would there be a random gerbil <laughs> in the field or in your garden? A mouse. No, smaller still, it's a caterpillar. Oh, cute. A mally shag, isn't that nice? That's sweet, yeah. Next one is Geordie, so Newcastle area. And the word is netty. Oh, you're not going to try that accent either then? No way, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the netty. That's postman. No, it's not the postman. <laughs> Why would you be called the netty? <laughs> I will give you a clue, okay, which will really help. Oh, hang on a minute. I really need the netty. Oh, I need the toilet. Yes, it usually refers to an outside toilet, but can be inside. And it was short for the necessary. That's a good one. I like that. Okay, this word comes from Lincolnshire and the word is twagging. I mean, that sounds like relations again, but I don't want to say. <laughs> People are going to think I've just got it on the brain. Yeah, they are going to, aren't they? Yeah, so is that what you're going for? No, clearly not, because look at your face. It's not that. <laughs> twagging. Is it like a pub crawl? Going twagging with the lads? No, you don't go twagging. Well, you could go twagging with the lads, I guess, but not in general. No, okay, I'll give you a clue. If you've been twagging again, Archie, you'll be in big trouble. Has he been apple scrumping? Is that what they call it? No, he has. Well, he might do, but no. So it's to sky or bunk off school. Yeah, Ooh. of course. Of course, she says. Like, she she just knew that. That was just in the back of her mind. No, but of course that's what Archie's been doing. I couldn't... Of course Archie has. He's yeah. been a naughty boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Lucy, this time, for the last one, we've got three words, and they all mean the same thing, but they're from different parts of the country. So we've got Snicket from Yorkshire, Ginnell, mainly from Lancashire, and we've got Twitten from Sussex. What could they be? God, I really don't know. Like an allotment? Plant some veggies down the snicket? Oh, well that sounds good, because snicket sounds like thicket, doesn't it? Like a wood. <laughs> yeah. They all sound kind of like nature-y to me. I'll give you a clue. I sneaked through one snicket, I walked through the next Ginnell, and then I ran through the last Twitten. You ran through it? I like, sneaked, walked, and ran through it. Like a I could have done other things through it, I suppose, too. <laughs> but that's what I did. <laughs> Is it like a wood or a forest? No. Is it a building of some sort? Not a building. Is it a tunnel? You're close now. An underpass? There's no roof on it. A valley? No, you've gone off. You've gone <laughs> off. You've gone off on a tangent now. You were no, closer with buildings been... and tunnels. I don't know. Oh my gosh. What else could you sneak through? Is it like an alley? Yes, it's oh. a small space between buildings. What are your favourite local or slang words from where you come from? Please drop them in the comment section below. If we get enough, we'll make another video and give you a shout out. And it doesn't have to be just Britain either. Thank you to Eric for a really fun game. Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.